Say and 5A teams begin their playoff push on Friday night, and for Carroll, that means a trip over to Warsaw to take on the Tigers. Each team entering the night with seven wins, it's Chargers and Tigers in our signature matchup. Huge test for this Chargers team after a quality season in SAC play. And a good start for the Carroll offense. Jeff Becker on the move early in the night, takes it close, marked down just shy of the goal line. Two plays later, Becker on the sneak. He's in. Carroll takes a 7-0 lead. Warsaw's quarterback can make things happen in the ground game, too. Aaron Green sheds a tackle, cuts inside, and finds his way to the end zone. That ties it at 7. Chargers in the red zone again not long after that. Good blocking creates a big opening for Luke Carmody, and he's in for six more. These teams trade scores for a while, but Warsaw pulls in front late and the Tigers win 42 to 35. Back in Fort Wayne for a few SAC matchups. The last time Homestead took on Snyder, the Spartans beat them 33 to three, but this time the Panthers hoping for a different result. We'll start here with Snyder's Tyrese Brown down the middle. He picks up the first down, but it's Homestead's time to shine. Spartans Evan Ormsby seeks an open man. Nate Anderson takes it down the field with a gain of 29 yards. Ormsby again, this time to Jared Kissler. The Spartans up 10. They aren't done just yet. Luke Hoppert's pass is tipped. Isaac Barks bobbles it and doesn't let go. The Spartans move on, winning 28 to 10. Another All-SAC clash at Northside. Legends host North Rupp. Bruins beat the Legends by a single point earlier this month. North clicking early. Their first drive ends here. Jay Sean Lambert breaking through and into the end zone for a Legends touchdown. Bruins with an answer from 10 yards out. Give goes to Demarius Cowan and Northrop star back finds the goal line. But plenty of more offense to come from North. Deuce Taylor off the left side, stretches and scores for a two-yard touchdown. North side avenges the regular season loss with a 42-21 win over the Bruins. Moving on to Bishop Dwanger as they host Anderson. Brendan Lytle with the beautiful pass to Henry O'Keefe and O'Keefe with a show-stopping catch. Gavin Groves takes it home right here and the Saints take the lead 7-6 and they never look back. Dwanger dominates 42-6. Concordia heads all the way down to Oak Hill to take on the Golden Eagles. And a good start for the cadets. Quick shovel to Amir Drew. Runs through a few tackles and picks up some solid yardage for the cadets. A few plays later, Brandon Davis takes a shot downfield. And Cameron Johnson hauls it in after some solid yak. It ends up as a 50-yard gain for Concordia. Then it's back to Drew, weaving his way through bodies and in for Concordia's first touchdown. The Cadets will advance with a 24-0 win on the road. Heading over to Falcon Field, an undefeated Fairfield host Bishop Lures. Starting here in the second quarter, Lures up 7-0. Corey Lance rolls out of the pocket, fires it to Dalton Kripe. Kripe cuts across the middle and out to the sideline. Keeps his footing and rolls into the end zone. But Lures answers right back. Raymond Anderson gets the rock and barrels his way through the pile, diving into the end zone for six. Knights go up 14 to six. Falcons looking to score before the half. Kripe with the ball gets tripped up. Ball pops out. Evan Linker is there to recover it for Lures. Bishop Lures cruises to a 49 to 12 victory.